Because if you've never seen this before, <laughs> I, he that was a great intro, wasn't it? I'm going to just kind of step on it. Uh, <laughs> so if you've never seen this before, what I'm going to do, words on words, 60 seconds spotlight. I'm going to talk about a book. I'm going to give it a one to five star rating. I'm going to do it in 60 seconds or less. And yes, you heard it. If I don't, if I fail, he will definitely blow me up. And he takes great pride in being able to do this. It's I do. sad. <laughs> so let's step into the control timer room. Ooh. And Place. we are ready for words on words. Is everybody ready out there? I think they are. D, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. We are going in three, two, one. This week's words on words, 60 Second Spotlight is on a Moroccan girl by Charles Cumming. Now, this book is billed as a gripping contemporary thriller, although I thought it was more of a sleeper, like a Jean Le Carre spy novel where it starts out in the beginning, gets a little faster in the middle, and uh, you know concludes really uh, great. But uh, this was a sleeper as kind of half right because it kept putting me to sleep. Because Kit Carradine, he's a writer, and he's approached by a member of British Secret Service to bring his package to a woman in Morocco. And Kit's in love with being a, a writer spy because his father did that. Other writers have done that. But the whole book, all he does is question himself. Am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? Am I doing anything right? And then he falls in love with a girl, and he questions that too. The book should have been called The Angst of Kit Carradine. And then about 80% of the book uh, through, I, I got that gripping feeling uh, because I was thinking, is this author going to write another book with the same character? Now, I'm sure Charles Cummings fans are going to love this book. Discerning readers are going to think this is really blah, home, home, and I'm getting bored with it. So the Moroccan girl, uh, Charles Cummings, three stars. And this has been the Words of Words Spotlight, where we preview a book for you when we do it in 60 seconds or less. With four seconds on the yes. He got it. He got it. I had Unless it. you have it on that screen. Okay. You know, this is, he's, he's got a lot of books out. And I think the idea is okay, but the idea of a guy who who questions himself all the time, but then he's strong enough to beat up regular spies. I, I, I'm yeah, not if he's questioning fine. everything, why wouldn't you? I don't know if I could do this, guys. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Well, it's not quite that. It's just he does something and goes, "Oh, I don't know if I," you know. And he, he, it just it was too much. It's, Always second guesses himself, even yeah. though he's supposed to be a. I would, Se- semi superhero. It was in a bad book and put put it, but a different character might have been. I, I just think the author could have done different things and he didn't. He did what he did and and so I three started. All right. So the Moroccan girl, Charles Cumming. I will have the link down in the description if you don't take D's word for it and want to read it yourself and find out that he always second guesses himself. <laughs> if you want to second guess D this time.